What is up everyone and welcome to a really exciting little video because it's your opportunity to tell me what you want. Now I've got all sorts of ideas buzzing around in my head and I've got kind of an idea about a new series that I may want to start doing um, but I'm not too sure if it's going to go down that well because it isn't actually directly related to sort of tech content or variety technology content and it's a little bit like digging up the past and sort of reusing things that I've already done, which could be seen as um, Tom's running out of video ideas and he wants to wants to do this, but no, I'm not running out of video ideas at all. Um, it's more of a nostalgic thing and a sort of looking back thing. I know a few of you have been following me for years and years and I, I've been doing this since February of 2009 on its matter colour, so it can be quite nostalgic looking back now because it, it was so different back then. Um, so I'll explain a little bit more about um, my idea behind this series and whatnot in a minute, um, but first let's talk about the channel as a whole and where we are. So, one of the most important things that I've learned about having five videos a week is it's really, really important to have certain series that you can rely on if you need to make a video um, in a short space of time. Things like vlogs, IMNC rants, they're few and far between, IMNC Q&A, um, the eBay videos, they all are series that I can, I can make videos um, all the time on those series because they run on this channel. Now, I don't make sort of an IMNC rant or an IMNC Q&A every single week. Um, they're few and far between, but they really do come in handy um, when I have that video idea that isn't going so well one day, I can fall back on one of those and they really, really help me out. Everyone needs a safety net in their job and my safety net is my video series because I know that I can uh, make a video about eBay auctions or whatever or make a video about me ranting about something or make a vlog even if I don't have any physical technology around me to make videos about. And that's often not the case when I make those videos. Sometimes I just want to make them, like I've got an eBay video coming up very soon, it may even be the next video. Um, I've got an eBay video coming up because they're popular and I just really want to make one because it's been a while. So it's always handy having a series of videos on the channel to rely on and also it gives a little bit of continuity and a little bit of balance because some of the content can be quite random so it is nice to have some series that people can rely on and remember about. So other than the fact that they really help me out, they can often be entertaining if they're a good series of videos. I've only done two eBay auction videos and I know we had some camera difficulties in the last one, so unfortunately that kind of distracted people a little bit. Um, but hopefully I'll be back on it with the third one and also with better auctions to show so that will continue to be as popular as it was. The vlogs are very popular and even though vlogging is a different thing, they're still a series of videos. Um, but today's video is basically me asking your opinion. This is exciting because you guys can get involved and tell me what you want. I'm asking your opinion about a new video series idea that's popped into my head today and I've just sort of spent about 20 minutes sitting in my chair listening to some music thinking about this video series and thinking about the stuff that I could do and I came to the conclusion that I cannot release this video series until I speak to you guys about it first because um, there may be some points that need clearing up about it but I'd like to get your opinions. So, first off, this whole video series idea doesn't have a name yet. It's basically a nostalgic look back at the things I was doing in 2009 and 2010 and maybe expanding on them and adding some commentary from a nostalgic point and a few interesting facts about what I was doing at the time and what, you know, little cool things about the projects that I was doing back then and talking about them now in the modern day where I'm more confident and comfortable speaking to the camera. Um, now, a lot of people can maybe think that I'm running out of video ideas and I'm sort of digging up my old content and re-releasing them with a little bit of extra footage. Um, that's not the case. What it'll be is probably a speaking to the camera um, perspective like this, but it'll be me injecting a few clips from my older videos. Um, it, I'll probably be focusing on one video per new video. Um, and I'll be talking about them and, and mentioning things that I didn't mention in the other video and also looking back and laughing at some of the things that I used to say back then um, sort of not taking the mick out of myself but just sort of pointing out differences from how far I've come between now and then because I am a very nostalgic person. I 
I don't live in the past, but I really love my memories. I love my good memories, and I actually love my bad memories, because I love remembering. And when I look back at my old videos, I think, God, some of these have got sort of 400 views or whatever. You know, most of them have got more than that by now. And I'm like, nobody's watching these. They're just dead, you know? They're not good content. They're, they're filmed very badly, but they're sort of dead to everyone. There's no point to them anymore because they're sort of irrelevant. So if I could relive those videos in a new video, and I'm not talking about all the time, we'll talk about that in a minute. If I could relive those videos in a new video, looking back from a nostalgic perspective, then I think that would be really cool. Now, mentioning time frames, I wouldn't do this sort of one a week. I wouldn't do it one a month. I'd do it very rarely, maybe one every two months. So you're talking maybe five, six, seven at a push of these videos in this series per year. Um, or maybe more if it gets popular, but I wouldn't want to do it too much because it's not really new content. It's not new technology content. I'm making a new video which technically is new content, but it's not new um, talking about a new product or whatever or something that is new to me. Now, if you guys think this is a great idea from what I've tried to describe, it's a very hard idea. You know, I'll basically be talking about old videos and new videos. If you guys like this idea and like the sound of it from the beginning, um, you may be wondering what I'm worried about and why I'm making this video in the first place. Now, nostalgia is a funny thing. Um, to be nostalgic about something, you have to, it has to mean something to you. You have to remember something about it, something cool. It has to be meaningful and it has to hold a special place. All of my old videos have a special place in my heart and I don't look back at them that often because when you look back at things too often it can dilute and then you start to lose the nostalgic feel. So I, I try not to watch my old videos but when I do I get this really big kick out of doing so. Um, but my worry is that they're not nostalgic to many people. Now I know if you were, you know, in my first 10 subscribers, my first 100 subscribers or even in my first 1000 subscribers. Um, you will find them nostalgic. Uh, hopefully, if, I, if IMNC means a little bit to you and holds a place in your heart, which I hope it does for some of you, um, because I've put, a lot of, I've put a lot of effort in over the years um, to, to become a part of people's lives in terms of video creation. But my biggest fear about this series would be that it's for a very niche market. You know, uh, only a certain collection of people would want to see this. Um, to other people it's just digging up meaningless crap videos from the past and talking about them to fill time. And that is not what I want to do. So my main question to you guys is, am I the only one that's nostalgic about stuff? And would I, would I be the only one that gets entertained by taking a look back at the 14, 15 year old me making videos and pointing out cool little things about them? Would I be the only one interested in that, or would you guys be interested in that too? Now, I rarely do this. I understand this is uh, Thursday's video. You should really be seeing a really cool video today. You know, today I've been talking on Facebook with people about the Hackintosh because I've released the plans and stuff. Um, but I wanted to see if this series w was popular with you guys. Um, just, just talking about the idea. I don't have a name or anything like that. Um, and it's all stuff that's already online. I'm not talking about giving you footage that I've never uploaded. You know, back then I used to upload everything I recorded. Um, but the cool thing about this series is it kind of evolves. And as I, as the years pass and I make more, um, it'll be, first it'll start off be, by being nostalgic about 2009's videos, then 2010, and it'll go year by year up until we get, when we're in 2020 or 2025, looking back at 2015, and I get nostalgic about making this video, I'm like, hey guys, this is one of my most popular series, why was I even doubting it? You know, I made a video to ask you guys if you wanted to see it. Um, but no, one thing that I've slipped into with this channel is a little bit of a rut. Um, I just make videos and I go bang, 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 and I push them out. And I'm really pleased because there's no dip in quality. If you go back six months or if you go back a year and you compare them to now, my quality boost, I'm not talking about video quality. Well, you know, that does come into it. Lighting and stuff is better. Um, the quality of the videos are better because making videos is a part of my daily life. So I'm used to it. Um, I, feel more com I feel more comfortable uh, making videos than I do speaking to someone at the bank. I feel more comfortable making videos than I do um, crossing a busy road. So, you know, that really goes to show how much 
how much of a big part of my life it is. You know, people get used to the things they do all the time, and this is what I do all the time. So I've, I've got into a bit of a rut, and I don't talk to you guys enough like this. So I want to hear your opinion. I want to hear if you guys um, think this is cool, or if you think this guy, if you think it's lame, or just, I'm just asking. So before I ramble on any longer, really want to hear your opinions. Best place to voice your opinions is in the comment section, you know. If you do have a massive, massive load of stuff to send me, I doubt you do. Um, it's worth a go emailing me, but I've got so many big emails to get through, I may not get through it in uh, in in quite a while. But um, comment down below, I'll be active in the comment section. I won't be replying to every single comment, or maybe I won't be replying that much at all, but I'll be reading everything, and that's what counts. So, until tomorrow's video, thank you very much for watching everyone. You may see one of these videos in the future. If the response is bad from the people commenting below, then this may be a flash in the pan and nothing will come of it. But I'll look back at this day and laugh, and maybe I'll give it a go six months, eight months down the line, and uh, see if anyone enjoys one. So digging up an old video, having a cool little chat about it, looking back, speaking to the camera, cutting between old and new, old and new. I think it could be really cool and nostalgic. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Please let me know. And of course, as always, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Yeah.